This is the easiest knife you can make. Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna start by welding a handle onto our knife steel. I'm gonna use a piece of rebar as it's readily available and is really easy to weld. After the billet has had time to preheat, we're gonna go ahead and forge our tip in. We're aiming for about a 45 degree angle here. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, but the tighter you get this tip, the less grinding you have to do later while you're profiling. Once your tip has been forged, we're gonna hand bevel the blade. This is the majority of the forging process for this specific knife. Basically, I'm gonna work from both sides, compressing the material, not stretching. It's very important. You don't wanna stretch the material. Rather, think of it as if you're compressing it down on itself. Hand beveling is one of the most difficult parts of bladesmithing as it really separates the good bladesmiths from the poor bladesmiths. Good forged edge geometry really shows an experienced hand. I tend to rely on grinding a lot, which you can do here if you're starting out, but as you get better, strive for having really clean forging. Now that we've taken time to hand bevel the blade, now we're gonna go ahead and make our shoulder joint a little bit more pronounced. You can do this on the press by locking it in the jaws of the press and basically tapping on the spine, which will straighten out the blade. However, you can also do it on the anvil like I'm showing here. After this, we're gonna use our hot cutting tool to lob off the material that we're gonna use for our tang. It's important to leave yourself too much material here rather than not enough, as it's much easier to cut off more later than it is to try to put some back on. Now we're gonna taper the tang out. You can see me using the press here, but you can do it by hand. Just start from one end and work to the next making sure to keep everything nice and square. Now that our tang has been drawn out, we're gonna make our first curve. You wanna go away from the edge. You only wanna go so far with this curve as it's going to end up being your guard later on. Next up is our second curve. Now this one goes towards the edge. Now keep in mind, this is what's gonna make up your handle. I'm gonna use a piece of round stock here to basically tap it and keep the circular shape at the base of the handle while having everything else get closer to the tang. After this, I'll take another heat and use some pliers to fine tune my shape. Once this is done, I'll stamp my trademark before normalizing it. Normalizing is an essential step before heat treating where you basically get it to a nice even red color. Next up is profiling the blade before heat treating. So this basically sets up my profile of my blade I do this so that I know what the blade shape is gonna look like before I heat treat it. For heat treating, we're gonna get an even red color before dipping it in some preheated Parks 50 quench oil. You can see me here oscillating the piece. This helps it cool better in the hot oil. Now we have a nice hard blade. However, it's quite brittle, so what we need to do is tempering it. What I'm gonna do is knock off some of the scale with a worm belt so that I can take my torch and do a torch temper. Now, I knocked off the scale so I could see the color. I'm aiming for about 400 degrees here, which is about the straw color I've seen. Once this is done, the blade is ready to be finished. I finished grinding my bevels before using a scotch bright belt to clean up the rough grinds that are left on it. After this, I'll move to hand sanding. I start with some 220 grit and eventually work my way up to 400 grit sandpaper. After this, the knife is done. Thank you so much for watching. As you can see, this knife is immensely easy to build and is quite a fun exercise, especially if you're just starting out forging. A little added bonus was this was actually a used piece of Damascus that I left over from a previous project. And so you can just make out the low layer pattern on the blade there. Again, I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys try it out. If you did, let me know how it went in the comments and subscribe for more builds. I'm really, really excited to be doing this stuff again for you guys. All right, God bless, bye.